later units, we will discuss the proper use. I want to point out that all the tools that I will be showing you today are unplugged. I've checked and verified that for safety purposes. When you first start on a job site, one of the things you might need to do is to hand tools up to uh, people that you work for, unload tools off the truck, uh, move them around, or do various things. One of the largest or one of the most versatile tools that you'll encounter on the job site is called the circular saw. It also could be known as the portable circular saw, or some people might call it a skill saw. Skill was a brand that uh, patented this saw many years ago, and that name is still used by many carpenters today. But the skill saw has a plate, a circular blade, and a trigger that when you pull the trigger, the motor comes into place, and you can use this for doing uh, cross cuts and rip cuts. Many carpenters use this uh, time and time again uh, when building a house. Another saw that you may see on the job site, or you'll most likely see, has two names as well. This saw uh, is called by some a reciprocating saw, and then some will refer to it as the brand name Sawzall. It's called a reciprocating saw because it has the reciprocal motion of the blade. It goes back and forth when you pull the trigger. Uh, it's very useful in remodeling. It's useful in uh, demolition and cutting um, uh, work out when you're uh, tearing down uh, walls and that sort of thing to rebuild houses and it's a good rough uh, cut saw. A lot of times on new construction it's used as well when cutting out uh, window headers and door openings and that sort of thing. Another saw that you may find carpenters using and refer to is called a, a, called a scroll saw or some people call it a jigsaw. Another name that it may, you may be heard may hear it is a saber saw. The saber saw or jigsaw that you may hear also has a reciprocal motion. It's used for cutting curved or irregular shaped cuts. Many carpenters use these when they're cutting uh, the bird's mouths out of rafters. They'll keep them and use these in conjunction uh, with the uh, circular saw or skill saw. Another tool that's come on the scene in the past 10 or 15 years that's very useful is just called a multi-tool. It doesn't really have an electrical motor, it just has an oscillating blade and it uses uh, the electrical current to vibrate the blade back and forth. It's used a lot by cabinet makers, it's used uh, a lot by trim carpenters as well when doing fine work. It's uh, got a just a tough case and a switch and has a blade that just kind of wiggles back and forth when you open it uh, and it's called the multi-tool. Also, you'll encounter drills on the job site. If you start with a drill, the basic parts of the drill are probably important, but this is a corded drill. All drills basically have a handle, a trigger. Most of the time, it's variable speed. Variable speed means that uh, the harder you press it, the faster the drill turns. The end part of the drill is called the chuck. This drill has a keyless chuck, and we'll talk about that in the coming units where we talk about uh, how to use these tools properly. But as you can see, this has a cord on it. It's a corded drill. Uh, it's used uh, a lot of times, it has a lot of power. Sometimes you may be called on to retrieve or use a hammer drill. This particular hammer drill has a drill setting on it. And it also has a little picture of a hammer where you can flip a switch and it turns into a hammer drill when you're using it. It actually has a reciprocating motion so that when you drill, it's moving the uh, bit back and forth so it breaks away concrete and masonry uh, type applications and it does a real good job. Cordless drills have become extremely popular in the past 10 or 15 years, or, or I guess I should say the last 20 years or so. The cordless drills are lightweight, uh, they go many places, they've changed how we install a lot of interior trim as far as cabinetry and things of that nature. Uh, most all of them have uh, the lithium ion batteries now that you uh, use. You can see this one has a long six inch uh, square bit in it as well. It's variable speed, which means if you barely pull the trigger, uh, it's gonna turn slow, or if you pull it fast or harder, it'll turn faster. This one is 
is cordless as well, and it sometimes can be confused with the cordless drill. But you might want to note some differences. The impact driver does not have a chuck on it as this cordless drill does. The impact driver simply has a uh, snap ring where you pull out the bits. The bits are shaped with a hex pattern on there and they have a little indention that will catch. When the impact driver uh, operates, uh, there's a little reciprocal motion that pulls the bit or makes the bit go back and forth so that it impacts and it'll drive screws faster or it'll do whatever task that you're needing to go faster. They also turn faster. They're lightweight. They're good uh, for doing rough work, driving uh, pressure treated screws in uh, framing materials and that sort of thing. So now we're going to go over the tools that we have uh, mentioned so that I'm going to give you the proper names so that when you take the quiz, you'll be able to identify these tools and you'll know these so you'll be ready for the job site. Circular saw, reciprocating saw, saber saw, multi-tool, corded drill, hammer drill, cordless drill, cordless impact driver. Thank you, have a nice day.